Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is the Friday the 13th edition. <gasps> dun dun dun. Wait, December. do we have a thing? Oh yeah, which one is it? Ooh. Oh, wow. look out. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't really business. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't really loud. We yeah, don't know. We don't we actually hear. know. We can't. We can't hear it. It um, is recording. Yeah, good. It very is. Good. Yeah, all we're right. all good. Uh, so we're going to be talking about new release beauty products. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with updates of things that we've talked about in the past, and then get into some new stuff. Yeah. But before we do, we're going to actually tell you about our Beauty News Awards. Yes, guys. we got to do it. We we're almost going to forget. We almost forgot. Yep. So if you have not voted for Beauty News Awards this year, you have to. Don't miss your opportunity. It's mandatory. No, it's <laughs> it is the most important moment of your life, folks. Uh, you will find a link in the description box mm -hmm. to a web page where you can vote for all of the... Um, the nominees in certain categories. We have had a few people uh, say they're not not mega fans of the the voting uh, platform, the platform that we use, but it's it's actually the only one that we can use that allows people to not have to sign up to anything, and we can control the amount of times people can vote, which means. We don't just have someone sitting at home voting 50 times for Jeffree Star or something yeah. like this. So it doesn't skew the voting. It worked really well for us last year. Um, I think the issue with this year is if you open it on the desktop and you submit your vote, mm. it will open a confirmation uh, page in a new window. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, which is not the worst thing because you just have to close it and go back yeah. to the original page, but it's harder on your phone. Yeah. Um, so we apologise for that, but it... Yeah, it's hard with free services. Yeah, and it like there is a reason why we chose that one. We've do, been doing this for a while, and mm. it's it's the most. It does just, what we needed to yeah, do. Yeah, it's the one that's resulted in the best results for us. So yeah. that's why we chose it. Please be patient. Yeah, and I also wanted to clarify um, when we did announce that the voting was open. Uh, firstly, it's going to close our time Monday morning, so yes. US time. Uh, Sunday night so I would say from watching this you probably have about two days yeah. so get on to it otherwise you'll miss your opportunity a few people when we did announce this in um, our favorites video on Monday they were like I wish we had the opportunity to pick the nominee nominees you did you did um, in fact when I looked at the we nominees don't choose the nominees at all no when when I looked at the nominees for each topic I was like Oh, wow, I wouldn't have picked that at all. Uh, someone tried to insinuate there was some political bias going on. Oh, and really? I'm like, anyway, no. so they were actually, the week before, we actually had people suggest nominees and then vote on the ones that they liked or agreed with. Um, and then we picked the top few for the yes. um, thing. So, yeah, it's all crowdsourced. Yeah. There's no we bias is happening no, from this I end, in, and I was very surprised with some of the answers. Yeah, so there you my go. like back end process of how I set them up is I create the the polls and I put in two um, options just Examples. to get people started. Um, but it's all about people like suggesting and suggesting voting. their own nominees. You can't create the poll without more than or without less than two options. So I have to get it started. But I don't vote. I don't suggest anything beyond creating the polls. And I don't even think some of your suggestions actually made it into no, they the didn't. thing at all. Most so didn't. Most, most didn't. didn't. So it's just to like get it started, and then I take the top five nominees mm -hmm. that were um, suggested and voted for by you guys, and they go into the polls. Sometimes there's six, depending on the situation. Yeah, how close they are. Yeah. 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 So uh, I think around Christmas we'll be doing the Beauty News Awards and possibly a sneaky giveaway. Maybe. So, um, yeah, that's where we'll announce the winners from each category. But time yes. to get on to the news. So let's start with a sponsor. We do have a couple or a few for this episode. Sorry, it's that time of year. So mm -hmm. we are going to Don't be them. sorry. <laughs> it's good for us. It's good for us. It and is. it means that we can keep going. So yes. yay. Um, so we're going to pepper them throughout the episode, but they'll be at like logical breaks. Yeah. So Let's welcome our first one. Yeah. Yes. For all our fellow online shopping lovers, welcome to the club. You're amongst friends. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to snag a deal, we highly recommend that you check out ShopTagger. 
So ShopTagger is an app that is essentially your shopping buddy. Whenever you see something that you are interested in, you can essentially save that product and it will let you know when it goes on sale. If you're a beauty junkie, you will definitely find some of your faves within the 4,000 plus supported stores on ShopTagger. Places including Beauty Bay, Colourpop, YesStyle, Selfridges, even Sephora, Ulta, Cult Beauty, Boots and Debenhams. So ShopTagger is spelt S-H-O-P-T-A-G-R and it's a must-have app for people who love to shop. You can use it on your computer and your phone. It works with over 4,000 online stores and it also scans the web for coupon codes at checkout and automatically applies them to your purchase. So over the last week or so, I've been using ShopTagger to track an eyeshadow palette over three or four websites because I want to get the best deal. <laughs> she needs it. It's, it is what it is. And it's an expensive one. Yes. You so should get a deal. I agree. So I'm definitely waiting for my alert to see when the price has changed. But what I find really handy is you can go to your watch list and just see all the items at a glance um, from different shops if you wanted to. So you can really see which is the best option to buy from at that time. That's clever. To get ShopTagger for free today and to be automatically entered to win $1,000, click the link in the description box. So again, if you want to check out ShopTagger and go into the draw to win $1,000, just check out the link in the description box. When it comes to running your own business, it can be tough there's yes, a can. lot that goes on in the background isn't there cat oh it's stressful <laughs> oh yeah honeybook make it simple to run your business better they consolidate services you already use like mailchimp and gmail quickbooks google suite excel and they even offer professional templates e-signatures and built-in automation that will help keep everything on track and makes you look good that's important mm-hmm so no matter what type of business you run, whether you're a freelancer or you own a larger business, HoneyBook can really help you out. Save time and do more of what you love. Right now, HoneyBook is offering our listeners 50% off when you visit honeybook.com beauty. Payment is flexible and this promotion applies whether you pay monthly or annually. So go to honeybook.com beauty for 50% off your first year. All right, first update is Glamlight. Mm. So we did see that they were sneak peeking some lip products inspired by, did they say winter, um, like, sweets or I think snacks so. or yeah, desserts, desserts or something? Yeah. Yeah, so they have launched and we've seen exactly what it is. So uh, they, this is the Sweet Tooth Lip Gloss Collection. Um, it contains nudes, mauves, ultra-dazzling peach tones and warm browns. Um, and they're essentially lip glosses that you can buy for $12 each or $45 for the set. Uh, if you do buy it in the set, it brings it down to $7.50 uh, lip product. Saving. There you go. So we've got the hot chocolate lips, which is more like a brownie nude. We've got caramel frappe, which is sort of like a rosy nude. nude yeah uh, there's a donut which is more like a glazed sort of light pink shimmer pecan pie which is not pecan colored at all no it is mauve we've got s'mores which is a dark rich brown and we've got cinnamon roll which probably does make sense because yeah. cinnamon is associated with red colors and this is sort of like a ready um sort of sheer toned uh, lip so i actually like the idea of the glazed donut because mm. when you look at glazed donuts you're like that sort of looks like it's got lip gloss on it yeah I get that. It makes sense. I hope these smell nice. Are they meant to smell like, yeah, they're scented like they're corresponding desserts. If they smell nice, I actually want to try them. I want these. I know. I live my life for lip gloss at the moment. Yes. So if people don't know, Haley's actually on um, Accutane or what's it called? Isotretinoin. Yeah. So her skin and her lips are getting all dry dry. and she's like a lip gloss fanatic. Yeah. I'm just like, I'd eat the shit if I could. Yeah. So (laughs) I'm down for this. Yeah. I think this is the first um, sort of glam light collection that I'm like, look, it, it is gimmicky, but it makes sense. And it's also practical i think this is the right type of gimmick it's the right balance of yeah. gimmick yes yeah. i agree i think their their pizza slice palettes were probably the right type of gimmick as well their giant pizza palette a bit too much a bit too much for um me. but i do think that this is a, like and the thing is you can buy you could buy the whole pack and 
get some versatility out of yeah, this if you like absolutely. lip glosses. Hopefully the formula is nice. Yeah. House Labs. So yes. we have an update on the palette, mm -hmm. um, but we also have some new things as well. So it looks like there's only three mattes in this palette and seven um, metallics or like duochrome pearl I would say finish. though that because looking at the palette, it looks like there's four mattes. There must it be does, a satin yeah. finish in there as well. Yeah, yeah they've, they're saying they've got a pearl finish mm -hmm. and then – a metallic and one duochrome. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, if you like it, you like it. Yeah. So Lady Gaga did come out to say that the palette was based around the type of makeup that she liked to wear when she started out wearing makeup, mm -hmm. which is fine. So she said, I use colours that would contour shape and amplify my look in a way that made me feel beautiful. Now... When we did talk about this last week and we said it's kind of boring and it looks like elf makeup, we did get a lot of um, people in the comments saying um, that's really unfair. Have you seen her justification? And I think it's fine having a justification for why you do something. And I don't think her justification is wrong by any means, but I don't think it represents what her personal branding is yeah. and what people expected from her makeup brand. So you can say, look, she started out with this because that's a makeup she enjoyed 20 years ago, but it's also makeup that's been around for 20, 20 years, years and it's still fucking boring. Yeah. So, you know, I think what people, people look at Lady Gaga and maybe now she has toned down a lot with her um, look and her makeup, but I think people look at the sort of personal brand that she's created for herself, which is quite wild and out there. And they wanted that injected into like that uniqueness injected into her brand. And that just has not delivered. Yeah. So if you vibe with this and you really respect where she's coming from and saying, okay, this is the makeup she started with and she wanted to replicate that. Cool, but it's definitely not unique and it's definitely not something that I think people would associate with her personal brand and her style. Yeah. Um, so I think this is disappointing to a lot of people. And when a big celebrity brings that has this big sort of persona that she's created brings out a sort of wearable, work, yeah. work related palette, yeah, it contours the eye. But so, but does, so fucking, does everything. So does like all nude palettes yeah. contour the eye and it doesn't matter who this is coming from no we would say the same thing it's a boring palette yeah <laughs> yeah sorry it is. It but is. it is like the quality might be great and i hope it is yeah um but i'm not going to just go oh because she said it reminds her of makeup that she started with that she enjoyed i'm going to give it a pass because i don't like anyone can justify why they do anything that doesn't mean I think it's going to be a smart move for the brand. Um, and if that's where she wants to take the brand, cool. But I think it, it's it's not what people expect from it and it's not exciting. Well, it just makes it yet another brand creating yes. more and more yes. and like – uh, let's look at the beauty community as a whole or, you know, um, beauty brands as a whole. Do we need another one? Yeah, and that's exactly where I think yeah. my my sort of issue lies is, you know, I think when peop when she put out this idea of mm. creating a makeup brand, people sort of saw, saw it as being how Rihanna and Fenty, um, they sort of changed the game with the 40 shades mm. of foundation. So all of a sudden, it actually did change the market a bit. Yeah. People thought the same thing was going to happen with Lady Gaga, as in like there's going to be a completely new trend and a new style and a new direction for makeup. But what she has done is go black eyeliner, nude eyeshadow, lip, lip gloss. Kiss. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's as if not, we need more of that shit. We don't. There's nothing that she's released that's really innovative or it's not – adding to like what we already have well it's it, what inspired her 20 years ago so it's been i've around also for been years. applying makeup for 20 years and i still got some of my old 20 year old yeah. makeup like, but that doesn't mean that if i create a palette i'm going to replicate the no. the revlon palette that i hit pan no. on when i was 16 and also i think okay if you are really inspired by where you started that's totally fine mm. but Find a way to make it different. Find a way to bring it into, like, modern times. Make it interesting. Make it exciting. Like, it's Tati was able to do that. 54 Australian dollars, and it looks like an elf palette. It looks like something I could go palette. to 
price line and buy from Revlon or Astralis or Models Prefer. Like, or if you go a bit higher up, this looks like something Bobby Brown or Laura Mercier would make. So correct. Um, it's been around for decades and it doesn't need to be... I, I, yeah. I can't just be like, oh, my God. Exactly. It's so outstanding and her her inspiration yeah. is so pure. It's just boring. And I, I, think, I think it's unfair for people to be like, no, you need to give her a break. No, we don't. It's makeup. But we also judge makeup. We That's exactly that's, what that's, we do. That's what we're doing. We're and not trying to judge her. We're no, just judging makeup. No, this isn't about Lady Gaga. This yeah. is about Amazon's crappy makeup. Speaking of more crappy makeup oh, I know. from I'm just going to check out on this one. All right. I'll... We were making a joke about someone that I know who just sort of like puts checks their out. shoes on and checks out. <laughs> like something hard or <laughs> difficult happens and they just like slides their yeah, shoes on and just like, like disappear. <laughs> yeah. So Hayley's going to do that for this I'm, one. Yeah, I'm just going to very slowly go over yeah. here. So um, this is new products being added to the range and they're being added over two different dates, but... By the time you're watching this, they're all out. So no matter, you just it's out. If you want it, you go get it. So they're actually releasing the liquid eyeliner in whiskey, which is a chocolate brown. So it's a demi matte in a chocolate brown. I actually, revolutionary. I actually like that. I, I love, don't mind look, it. Look, I love brown <laughs> liners, yeah. but revolutionary. Uh, we've also got the risque brow and lash sparkle topper in drama, which is like a, it's like a black mascara with shimmer in it. So. Whatever. I don't even know how that's going to go on the Universal brows. Universal black tinted base with multicolour sheer sparkle payoff that shapes and sets brows and lashes. Look, if it if it's great, cool. It's actually semi different compared to the rest of her range. But I don't. I don't think. I think this is once again a bit gimmicky. Black sparkly stuff for your brows. For your brows, yeah. Unless I know. you've got black. Unless hair. you've got brow, black brows. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've got the House of Future Hollywood. This looks like it's a new set. Um, and it's a mix of red and silver tones. So you have the Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer in Flash. So this is a, sh a, a silver liquid eyeshadow. And then you have um, a lip gloss and a lip liner in a red shade. So the lip liner is in Supermodel and the lip gloss is in Work. And they're both bright reds. Then you also have House of Whiskey. So it's going on the brown tones. So you have the Glam Attack. A glam Attack liquid eyeshadow thing in Rye, which is a dark brown with golden pearl. The liner in Neat, which is a mahogany brown. And the lip gloss in Chaser, which is uh, a sheer mahogany brown with golden pearl. So um, those are all out when, along with the eyeshadow palette yeah. when you're watching, watching this. this. I will say I like the red and silver set, Future Hollywood. I think red and silver go beautifully together, especially like a sparkle mm -hmm. silver. Gorgeous. And I do love the House of Whiskey colour. Yeah, the, I it's wish really nice. I wish the lip gloss was a lipstick. Fair. Yeah. Um like that's that would be beautiful deep for deep skin tones. Yes. But I think oh. um like a lip gloss is fine on deep yeah. skin tones. But I think when you go for a sort of punchy colour, uh, unless you have it over a lipstick, it can look a little bit sheer and patchy. sheer and weird yeah. and patchy and like going into the lip lines. glosses are fairly nice. They are fairly it nice. It just depends on what the pigmentation yeah, is. Yeah, like. I think that yeah. would have been a nice. I would have totally been down for that if that was a lipstick. All right, we have seen the Kesha Rose collection um, launch, and so this is with Hip Dot, and. Um, Look, we did talk about this over the last few weeks, but I'll run through all the products. So we did see the eyeshadow palette. This is the FTW eyeshadow palette, 36 US dollars. Look, we've got a bunch of shades here. I'm going to say this is like it's a bright palette. It's mm. got some glitters in there, which is nice. This is definitely something that I would expect from maybe even Lady Gaga. Like the yeah, story. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I think she's done a decent job at creating something slightly different. Then we also have the Lipstick and Gloss Duo. This is $26. US uh, It's got a red lipstick in uh, Raising Hell. Um, so it's a lipstick that's filled with nourishing rosehip oil. Um, and it's supposed to be, you know, quite... Emollient. Yeah, yeah. and moisturising. Uh, and then there's also a high shine topper 
lip gloss that's called That Bitch. Now, this is a little bit disappointing to me. It does have plumping ingredients and it looks clear, but it is one of those pH changing. Yeah, you can um, see it on yeah, this and it, watch. So it goes to a pink shade, which I'm never a fan of with those because you can just yeah. buy a pink lip gloss if you want to. Correct. Um, but that only comes in the duo. Then we've got the Whatever Wherever Wands. These are $26 and you get a duo. So these are two dual sided liquid eyeliners um so you can see hopefully in the photo there is one that's black and blue and one that's red and gold i want that yeah and you can Those. only buy them in the duo oh really yeah. so so you get you get both you get both wow you get both uh same as the lip products you can only get them in both yeah then you can buy all of the items for 84 us dollars or you can buy it with a collector box for hundred and four dollars, mm-hmm. so that's all out. I like those eyeliners. Yeah, I, hope, I don't hopefully think they work well. Yeah, I don't think Hip Dot shipped to Australia, so it's not going to not going to happen. happen. Um, also, to be fair, I probably wouldn't pay twenty eight dollars for it because it's going to work out to oh with the Australian dollar something with Australian dollars. Yeah. And like I need more eyeliners. Like I need a hole in the head. That's so fair. you know, but I do like them. I want to say about the eyeshadow palette, someone mm. commented on Instagram, which is completely mm-hmm. true. So my cat, I call him Boogie, Boogie, and it's got one called Boogie Feet. Yeah. But it should be the colour beneath. Because yes. it's got little pink toes. Yes. So, yes. Uh, Fair. Uh, look, that's given me inspiration. I if do I think... ever make an eyeshadow palette, I'm going to have one called Boogie's Footsies. Yeah, Boogie's Footsies. His Footsies or his Beans. Boogie's Beans. <gasps> Boogie's Beans. Before we get into the new stuff, let's have another sponsor. Let's do it. If you are traveling this holiday season, Lucky and duck. yeah, I'm jealous, and you are in the market for some new luggage, Away creates thoughtful products that make travel more seamless. Away have two sizes of carry ons they've got the carry on and the bigger carry on. They come in an array of colors and are made out of two materials. The carry-on is a lightweight and durable piece. It's made to last for a lifetime of traveling. When you purchase your carry-on, they offer a 100-day trial that lets you try the product on the road. It also comes with a limited lifetime warranty and they will fix or replace your bag if it ever gets damaged. Some features that we really like about the suitcases are they have four 360 degree spinner wheels. So you're never going to be tripping over your bag. It's not going to be flopping around the place and you can either drag it behind you or push it beside you. It also comes with a built-in compression pad, which helps you pack in more. So if you're doing a little bit of sneaky uh, Christmas shopping while you're on holiday, you can really squish down your clothes to get in more makeup. If you really want your luggage to stand out, they do offer some personalized features, including hand painting. Another bonus of Away is that they offer free shipping anywhere within the contiguous US, Europe, and Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. (laughs) So if you think you might like to check out Away, we do have an offer today. For $20 off a suitcase, visit awaytravel.com forward slash beauty and use the promo code beauty during checkout. So that is awaytravel.com forward slash beauty and use the promo code beauty during checkout for $20 off a suitcase. All right, so we usually go alphabetical order, but there is a bit of a theme happening this week. Three brands have shown some Chinese New Year products. So let's run through those first. So the first one we've seen is from Becca. Mm -hmm. So we've seen a sneak peek of a highlighter that's coming out for the year of the rat. Mm. So they did this for the year of the pig last year. Was it last year? Yeah. This year was the year of the pig? Uh, Yeah, this year, but it it sneak peeked end of... Yeah. Last year. Yeah. yeah. So they have done this and um, I just am waiting for the year of the tiger, which is my year. Yeah. This is your year. This is my year. So it's her year to shine. It but is. When it was year of the tiger for me, makeup wasn't like, they, no. didn't, they didn't release cool stuff yeah. like this. So yeah. I, as soon as tiger comes around, I'm snapping it up. Look, I'm feeling a bit like I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that it, it's 2020 year of the rat. Because I'm trying to not buy as much stuff. I really, I got some saving goals going on <laughs> and I'm like, well, I have to buy it. Otherwise, it could have wait like 12 years. Exactly. 
<laughs> gotta do it. No. <laughs> yeah, gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Uh, but this looks like it's almost like a nude, a very light nude highlighter. Yeah. Uh, maybe with some peachy tones, but we don't really know too much about it just yet. The next one is from Clinique. This is the Cheek Pop Highlighter. It's a gold. It looks cheeky. It does look cheeky, yeah. doesn't they, they've it? They've done a smart move going gold because gold and red are the really lucky colours for New Year. So um, if they want to sell big time to the sort of Asian market, this is this bang is on the what one. you do. Yeah. Um, but it's it's it, the, the rat looks cheeky. He does look cheeky. It looks and I like love a cheeky how one. they've incorporated their little cheek pop flowers yes. in there as well i yeah. think they've done this really well it's very cute it's called gold celebration pop and there's another one look another i just i love it how they're all bringing out highlighters because i love and i'm forever. just like thanks i got sixty thousand of them and i literally do not need more like no if you I, don't if i have any more i'm probably going to have a mental breakdown and now here's two that i have Device. But what I like about this, having a highlighter, is it's a product that will last you 12 years. <laughs> so you can actually buy it Keep and then it. by the time you use it up, it's your time it's again. It's my turn again. So it's not like a setting spray or a powder that all of a yeah. sudden you're like, oh, I've used it in a year. Yeah. You can have this for 12 years. I, I will probably yeah. buy them both. One thing I like about this as well, um, so it looks quite gold in these photos, but, but the swatches swatch quite... It looks um, quite soft. Yeah, it's, it's a very soft yeah, colour, which is... Um, not like a really dark bronzy yes, gold. Yeah. It's sort of like a pale, pale gold. Yeah. All right. The last one that has a collection that we've seen this week is by MAC. So um, this is an interesting one. The packaging yeah. is rad, but there's no rat theme it's going a on. <laughs> and I think that's because... Um, dragons are traditional yeah. for chinese new year every year they have like the dragon floats yeah. and everything um because it's supposed to scare away no their firecrackers are supposed to scare away the bad spirits the bad spirits yeah and the fake dragons are supposed to do that as well so i understand this but i think if you were year of the rat yeah this is a little bit disappointing yeah, this is more generic chinese new year rather than celebrating the, the specific the specific yeah. theme of that year yeah so, but it's fucking gorgeous yeah I, the highlighter looks gorgeous the highlighter does look nice um i i'm glad it doesn't have a rat on it because i don't need to buy it yeah i actually really like the highlighter i like the design with the pink and the it's little like um very ornate yeah. and pretty They've done a good job. Yeah, there's also um, an eyeshadow nine pan palette. It's very spring, very soft. Mm. Um, there's some sort of warm tones, a pop of blue, pop of black shimmer. I don't understand. Uh, this blush is gorgeous. It looks like an awesome tile. Yeah. Like the actual outside of it. And it's got, um, see, I wish it was the other way around. It's got a large sort of pan or portion of the pan. It should have pink. just been all orange. Yeah, and then it's got a peach colour down the bottom. Yeah, I wish it was more orange. We've got some lip glosses with the nice packaging and also some lipsticks. I like the little cloud designs. I think they're really gorgeous. Yeah. Um, this is a really cool sort of gifting um, collection. It is. All right, that's Chinese New Year done. So we're mm -hmm. going to go back to the start yet again. Mm -hmm. We have a collaboration, BH Cosmetics. And forgive me if I pronounce anything wrong here. I'm not familiar with this influencer. I did try to look it up. I'm going to try. Uh, La Vidan Prince. Mm -hmm. And his name is actually Jose. Mm -hmm. So they have created the New Beginnings palette. So it contains six neutrals and six brights. At the time of watching this, it is going to be out and it's retailing for only $18. So it's very affordable. Yeah. Um, essentially what we have is a row of neutrals, a row of brights. I like it. See, look, people sometimes think that we never disagree, but we politely we disagree. So often we disagree it's not, all the time. Yeah, you guys but, but don't people listen don't, well. Yeah, because <laughs> because if we if one person says I like it, and the other person's like, yeah, all right, like it doesn't mean that they're doesn't agreeing. mean we have to put on boxing gloves. Yeah, Jesus exactly right. Christ. But I'm going to make a point of saying I disagree. Fair, and the I like what he's doing with this i like that there is the sort of nice wearable and there are sort of fun colors that um are a little bit different from your typical rainbow because they look a little bit more spring and a little bit more yeah bright but not um i don't know like primary colors yeah. if you know what i mean yeah. 
But what I don't like about this, and I'm starting to get a bit picky with eyeshadow palettes these days because I have seen some palettes do it really, really well. And when I try palettes like this and it does it badly, it really frustrates the heck out of me. You can't create really versatile, like cohesive, cohesive looks, looks using yeah. this one palette. You can either go bright color, nude, neutrals, or yeah. nude and color. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like there's got to be some things in between that link the nude to the colors. I do agree with and that. I, I feel think like, that's fair. Yeah, and I remember I was doing a review of the Shanix. So, um, uh, what was it? Heaps of Sweets palette? She did that perfectly because you can literally close your eyes, throw a dart at two or three colors and, they and work. create a look. Whereas this, if you did that, it won't actually work. So for me, I think this is a little bit of an unwearable palette, even though it does have a lot of wearable shades in it. That's fair. Um, like, what are you going to go, brown and green? I, I don't know. Yeah. Some well, people I, love it, but for I me, sure as hell wouldn't. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't buy this. I don't need this. But yeah. that that nude row yeah, I knew you were is like the nude so row. beautiful. Like, I don't give a shit about the colours. Just, I don't. I've got too many. I'm over colour. Mm. Take your colour. Do whatever you want with it. Just don't give it to me. But that nude row, for me, that, like... Looks like soft glam. Oh, I know. Looks like soft glam. I just, I love the really soft, soft eyeshadows at the moment not that you can tell yeah <laughs> i think if these colors were more pastel they would work better with the nudes but then again it uh, sort yeah, of yeah. would be very limiting yeah. with who can wear it so yeah it's you know it's hard mm. you, gotta, you like what you like and you, you do. don't like what That's you don't right. like but um and look I at respect that, that we, it's different we respectfully disagreed yeah while also acknowledging each other's opinion we're friends. It happens in every fucking episode. Pay better <laughs> attention. Yeah, it's true. Uh, a palette that Haley is piddling her pants over. Yeah, so uh, Charlotte Tilbury, we've seen a sneak peek of the new Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. So they're really pushing the Pillow Talk mm, thing. It was originally are. a lipstick. Now it's a bunch of different type of lip products. I think they've got a blush that's Pillow Talk. I think they've got an eye quad that's Pillow Talk. And now they've got a full palette. Mm. And what's your thoughts? I think it's very pretty. I do really enjoy it. Um, I think it would have been kind of cooler if there was um, a couple more shimmers in there maybe. I agree because desk but, and like, date are just too matte for me. Yeah, I think desk and date, if they put just one shimmer yep. in each of those, it would have been a perfect balance of mattes and shimmers because if you look at day and dream, mm -hmm. they're two like metallics or shimmers and a matte in each trio. And I think to get a better balance, they could have put in um, a couple in the yeah. other 50 /50 trios. 50-50 for yeah. me is a perfect balance. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And also I think something that maybe turns me off a little bit is that I feel like it's going to be very pink heavy. Yeah. Um, I was going to say this is going to remind me of the Huda um, nude obsession palettes. Where yes, the that's right. They're deceptively like pink. pink. You put yeah. them on, you're like, how is that pink? I know, right? I put on a brown. I know. And I know. Why pink? is it pink? Yeah, I yeah. used to orangey brown to blend that out and it is pink <laughs> yeah. i know i know i think like those yeah. those palettes are yeah it, and that's what concerns me about this so i i probably wouldn't you know run out and buy it but if you do like pink toned um yeah absolutely shades, I, think I think i think this, I is... think this is a fantastic little palette mm. yeah we also have a new lipstick from mm. charlotte tilbury so this is uh in their matte revolution range and it's called scarlet spell darling and it's a limited edition shade uh so it's supposed to be a perfect suits all rich winter berry red shade for party season it's like the little black dress for your lips cute so it's now exclusively available at charlotte tilbury for 25 pounds um and it does have little lips on the packaging does their normal ones have that on the bullet sorry um I don't know I'm if it does. I'm not sure. I don't think it does. I think they're I just don't normal. I think so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there you go. If you're a big fan, you should. Lovely. Shade. All right, Drunk Elephant, we have something new coming. Uh, it is the F Balm yeah. <laughs> Electrolyte Water Facial. So it's an overnight mask that contains vitamin F, which are fatty acids apparently, mm -hmm. uh, and it helps to hydrate, soothe, and restore the lipid barrier of the skin. It also contains niacinamide, ceramides, squalane, omega fatty acids, well, 
you already said yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, prickly pear extract, antioxidants, and sodium PCA. Don't know um, what that is. And neither do I. I don't really care. It's going to retail for 52 US dollars and it'll be available on the 1st of January at Sephora and Junk Elephant. Yeah, so essentially what this is, um, and I think it is a gap in their range. I agree, yep. Um, it's sort of like a barrier cream. Mm. So you put all your serums and stuff on and it's like a barrier cream that helps um, – sort of restore your lipid barrier. Yeah. So if you've got very dry skin, especially this makes sense um, in the winter. US, it's mm. winter. So yeah. if you find that you have really like dry patches, this will help sort of soothe that over. But um, yeah, the main thing is vitamin F, but I think technically vitamin F doesn't exist. It's yeah. just the term for fatty, fatty acids. acids. So yes. they're yeah. sort of leaning into that. And they're pl- a nice wordplay. Yes, F-bomb. yeah. I, I honestly, I think they do that a lot with a lot of their products. They really know how to, the buzzwords. The buzz. Yeah, yeah. nice word. That. Point. I would try this though. You do have dry skin. I yeah. do. I do. So I don't hate it, but um, there you go. Adding to their range. Mm-hmm. Oh, more adding to a range mm-hmm. of skincare. Um, this is from Glow Recipe. It is the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. So they're calling it a lightweight moisturizer with banana, magnesium, turmeric, sicker, and oh, no, sicker for calm, hydrate, and even skin. A very good English there. Uh, so it's going to be $39 and it's actually available now. Yeah. So it was early release, I think on the Sephora app. Right. Um, but yeah, no, it looks interesting. Yeah. I think, um, I'm always a bit iffy about banana scented things. They can either sure. smell really great if they're like banana custard yes. or they can smell that hideous. Yeah. So this would be one that I would want to smell in store. Yeah. Especially since people warned us about the um, vitamin C the pineapple. pineapple one that yeah. smells a bit like it's got a sweet soy sauce, soy sauce and I to it. Yeah. I do agree with that. Yeah. So um yeah, I think because when brands do rely quite heavily on um once again, it's sort of gimmicky with the like scents scents and yeah. um, ingredients that give them an excuse to scent a product. Mm. Um, it can be very polarizing, so um, yeah, but it looks interesting. We have a holiday exclusive fragrance from KKW Beauty. Um, or and fragrance? KKW so, fragrance. Oh, KKW fragrance, sorry. Too many brands. Mm-hmm. Stop it. Uh, it's Crystal Pear and Peony. This looks like it's only going to be available at Ulta Beauty, but I would assume on the KKW Fragrance website yeah, as well. Yeah, because usually when Surely. something's exclusive to a retailer, it doesn't stop the brand from selling no, it. It just doesn't no. go to other retailers that stock that. Yes. Which I would actually hope, because we get, we now have um, KKW Fragrance in Maya. Yes. And I haven't smelt them yet, but... This sounds nice. I would say that we, there's a chance we could yeah. get it because Ulta has no standing in Australia. Yeah. Like they don't exist as a brand here. Well, so, they don't exist as a brand outside the US. Yeah. It, so, so other I, places might I would get assume it. that KKW Fragrance would have no obligations regarding other global mm-hmm. launches. So we might get it. Uh, but they're calling it a spirited floral oriental fruity scent that lights up the holidays so it's got notes of raspberry gumdrop oh my god i know lively pink pepper and glistening pear tree blossom it sounds amazing let's yeah, go does. to myers now and see if they've got it yeah i know i'm tempted <laughs> like, um, uh, it's also got winter white vanilla cream and golden, and golden amber, amber crystals stop it i know it's actually got look Sandalwood Australian. Oh, it's definitely it's coming to Australia. Here. It's got to come be here. If you have our ingredients, mate, you better you deliver better to bloody Australia. Be here. Um, it's available now, at thirty-five US dollars, and it is in one of those crystal mm-hmm. style. In a nice sort of like um, minty green color. Yeah, it's I very like pretty. It. Yeah, it is pretty. It's probably the first one that I've seen from them that I'm like, mm, mm. I kind of want to try. Yeah. And I've been very good at using up perfumes this year and to the point where I look at my perfume stash and I'm like, I could buy I could perfume. totally pad that out a bit. Yeah. So um, maybe one day. Uh, all right. We've seen the L'Oreal Holiday Collection. It's taken a while. 
I'm getting sick like, of these very late yeah, releases. Yeah. Um, I don't know when this is out because L'Oreal is one of those shitty brands that stagger their releases. We um, won't get it for like a year and a half. We'll probably get it in the new year. Oh, yeah, or next year, next holiday season. Mm -hmm. But people will possibly have already seen this in store. So yeah. you have to do your research, unfortunately. And I don't have a list of all the products because I did look, but I couldn't find much. Um, so this is the Electric Nights collection. Um, and essentially it's just um, – they say they've got vibrant glitter toppers, eyeliners, a palette, and a highlighter. So I do know that there is a palette. It's a nine-pan palette, similar style to the Karl Lagerfeld one, but it does have sort of peachy pinks, um, golds, popper blue, because you got to do that or something. I, that palette, I can't even. No, it's boring what are you doing? Fuck. How do you create a cohesive look with that? Where are the... Where, where, where are the mattes? Where are the mid-tone shimmers? Like, why yeah, it's it's all very. It's, it's one just, note, and then a, then some dark shades in the corner, and a pop of blue. Yeah, and a pop of blue. We're done with that, guys. Yeah, that, it, that was like no shit. That was two thousand and sixteen crap. No, to be fair, I think it was more like two thousand eighteen crap. But it should be left behind in two thousand nineteen. Absolutely. So let's move on from that. But um, yes, yeah, so they've got that palette. They've got a couple of liquid lipsticks. They've got a liquid illuminator in a Charlotte gold. Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, yes. Uh, and then we've also got a couple of eyeliners. This one looks like it's a red, which yeah. is interesting. But the photo also shows a gold. So okay, yep. uh, once again, we don't have heaps of information. So we also see in this photo that there is a mascara, so the Paradise Mascara Ecstatic, and um, something else in the same range that could be the glitter topper, topper thing they're yeah. referring to. I'm not too sure. It's not very clear. The mascara have... might even be a topper type Oh, mascara, yeah, it could be a topper maybe. mascara. Yeah, it could be. Like yeah. one of those shimmery gold ones. Doing a Lady Gaga. Yes. Put it in your brows. Yes. From LA Splash, we have um, more Christmas stuff. This is uh, the Merry Little Kisses Liquid Lipstick Trio. So there are three shades. We've got Saint Nick, Sugar Plum, and Prancer. And, um, I mean, they're matte liquid lipsticks. St. Nick is a red with a bit of glitter in it, a bit of gold glitter. Uh, and, and then we have now. like a purple and a, a nude. Mm. Fun. All right. Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. They've got a limited edition holiday collection. Um, and in their true form, it's a bit creepy, which is great. <laughs> it is. Uh, I love it. I think yeah. this is great. So there are five loose shadows in uh, little pink brain containers. Yeah. So these are going to retail for 18 US dollars each. Um, and we've got, like I said, five shades. So there's Graveyard Snow, which is a white with a transformable reflective sparkle of blue, green, white, gold. Interesting. There's Hexmas Xmas which is a brown with reflective sparkles of bronze, silver, gold. There's a Frosty Ghost, which is a white with reflective sparkles of white, gold, silver. Uh, Hell's Bells is a black with reflective sparkles of silver and white. And Crypt Cryptmas Party, <laughs> I like it, yeah. uh, is a deep purple with reflective sparkles of violet, gold, uh, purple and gold. So um, – this is fun. Like this I is, love their packaging. I think it's fab. I think this is a perfect example of a really cool KK, like Chris Kringle present or a little like stocking stuffer. Um, do you need a variety of brains on your makeup desk when you're doing your makeup every day? No, you mm. don't. But if you do have a friend that likes some sort of like this stuff. If they've got, yeah, you know. And, but also loose eyeshadows, once again, similar to the Chinese New Year highlighter, they will last you 10 years. Yeah. So it is a fun little gimmick to have if you're into it. I think it's cute. I think this is a perfect Halle example. Day. Yeah, <laughs> I think Day it's eyeshadow. a perfect example of a brand knowing their brand. And, and, going, and knowing their, like, what they're trying to represent, which yes. is what... Lady Gaga has not figured out yet. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's exactly what I was going to say. Like, they, you compare this where you go, how the hell does a brand like that create a holiday collection but put a really, really clever twist on it? Not just make like a spoopy Christmas tree palette, yeah. but they've created something that is like their brand to a T but, but also, also celebrates 
something festive that is current. But you also look at it, you go, there's a brown pigment, a white iridescent pigment. Yeah. Once again, these aren't changing the rules. No. And, and, you know, and if Lady Gaga didn't want to totally, you know, if she did want to go nude, yeah, just go do it in fucking kick-ass packaging or something. Yeah, that's right. Do something a little bit different or release it alongside a really kick-ass glitter palette or something. Yeah. Like, you know, you can inject some personality into things that represent um, what how people view you. And she's got a massively strong personal brand. So does Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. Yeah. And they're sticking to it. They know yeah, it. They're they sticking know it. to it. And they know their they're, brand. They're not going, okay, we're going to bow to the glittery fucking um, astrological shit that's been no, going no, on. No, no, no. They're like, that's not what we do. We're they gonna... pave their own way. And that's what Lady Gaga needs to do. And that's what all brands need to do. Yeah, because I if agree. you start following others, some brands will get in there right at the right time where it's still trendy and it's mm-hmm. okay. But if you are behind and you are still following old trends or trying to catch up, it's never going to work. And that's Never. where people look at releases and just say, oh, same old shit. Yeah, do we need again. This? Do, another do pop of blue. Again? Do we need it, L'Oreal? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, we've got one thing from Makeup Revolution. These are the colour book eyeshadow palettes. And mm. there's five colour options. There's blacks, browns, reds, purples, and navy. So they each contain 48 eyeshadows, 24 matte and 24 matching shimmers. Very good divide there. I appreciate it. Um, so they're separated by a bookmark divider to stop the pigments transferring, which is great. And they're coming soon to Revolution Beauty uh, for fifteen pounds, sixteen euros, or twenty US dollars. I'm not sure if they've launched just yet. I'll have a quick look. All right, it looks like they have launched. So if you do want them, they're now available online and at Ulta Beauty, and coming soon to Super Drug. Now, what I think is smart about this is they have taken the color capsule palette trend, but they have put their own twist on it by making it larger. Mm. Um, So what we've seen, uh, and I really think they probably should have done this with, they could have fleshed it out a little bit more with like the pinks and have a green one and have more of a, um, have like the, look, they've got one that's sort of orange, yellow, red. They could Mm. have really fleshed out a red, a yellow, an orange. Um, But this concept's, yeah, it's taking an existing concept that ColourPop and um, I would say Huda probably started and yep. they've just put their twist on it by making it a little bit more comprehensive, which I do like. Do I want them? Yeah. N- no. <laughs> I know. That's what yeah. I'm... Do I want them? No. But I think it's if you're into a colour story and you want to get it in an affordable way, I think they, yeah, they've put it their, in, their own twist on it. And I like that there's a mirror image of shimmers and mattes. Mm. I think that's really smart. People have been screaming for more grey tone palettes. There you go. You've got it. Yeah. I, when I first saw these, I thought it was a mirror image. Yeah. Like it was, you know, not. There's a mirror in there. Yeah, yeah. That, that was reflecting it. And I was like, that's really clever how they've set that up. And then I was like, wait, no. Oh, it's just fuck. more eyeshadows. They're just gigantic. These Palettes contain more eyeshadow pans than Morphe palettes. That's true. Yeah, I do think that because of the two sides, they are too big. Yeah. But I do think, like, for example, if you look at the blue and the green, they should have split that into two. Yeah, yeah, they could have. Um, And they could have done that with the yellow and the red as well. If I was going to do this, I would have made them, like, 18 pan palettes, still do the double-sided things, mattes on one side, shimmers on the other to replicate them. They don't need to be... 48 fucking pans. No, I do agree with that completely. It's too much. But I do think that um, I like that they've put a twist on an existing trend that's still quite popular, but they yeah. haven't copied it exactly. No, they haven't. They haven't done the yep. nine pan yellow palette, the nine plan, pan orange palette. Yeah. They've done their own twist on it. I don't have much confidence. I, I Look, to be fair, I think the colours they chose are not actually good to represent the colour story. They mm. could have... Like the the variety of pinks and purples, they've taken like one tone and just like fleshed it out. But mm. there are so many different nuances in purples. Yeah, yeah. Where absolutely. are the bluey purples? Where are the plummy purples? Where they've just gone like mauves. So great concept. Great concept. Shit execution. Yeah, that's I think. Yeah, what I think. Yeah, definitely. But if you're currently obsessed with a certain color, or if you're like. I don't know, delve if into you're a on colour. a budget and you want to delve into it, like this can be a good place to start just to sort of get a feel of if you like certain Or colours. if you have to do like 
black and white sort of makeup yeah, for yeah. Halloween. Great. That palette yeah. would be great for that, sculpting yeah. out things. So, yeah. you know, there's definitely a market for it, but yeah. it's um yeah, it's something I'm not gonna buy, but that's that's a different story. Mm. Nas. So we have an afterglow collection. Um, and there's some new blush shades coming mm-hmm. up as well. So um, it looks like this is – some of it's out now. Some of it is coming a little bit later. So, um, yeah. Yeah, some of it's coming 28th of December and then some of it's already released. So. Yes. All right. So in the Afterglow collection, we have an eyeshadow palette – it's 12 shades of mattes, satins, sheer, and metallic finishes. It is very gold and brown heavy and peach. with pops of pink. Peach, which pink, is, and yeah. purple. Yeah, it's interesting. This looks very summer, spring to me. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's I think good th- for us. Yeah, I think some people will totally dig this. This is very, very um, – there's enough, like, wearability and colour to make this a little bit fun if you like these tones. If there weren't pinks and purples in there – I'd be down. I reckon that purple is not going to turn out to be purple. I reckon. No, I think it's going to look quite pink on the eye. Yeah. yeah. If they weren't in there, I'd get it um, because I love the like gold and browns Mm -hmm. and the packaging is sick. But otherwise, yeah. yeah. Uh, Then we have the Overlust Cheek Palette. So this contains three satin blushes on the bottom Mm -hmm. and three gel to powders on the top. I know. They look a bit icky. So we've seen this like um, uh, Instagram story where there's one that someone's been poking. There's fingers in it. And it looks messy as fuck. It does. This is a kind of palette and this is what I don't like about cream to um, powders. Like they can look really beautiful and they work on some people's skin type beautifully and if that's you, love this and enjoy it. The blushes look beautiful actually. They do, yeah. I think the colours are really pretty. But you need to use these before they um, dry Dried out. Bad. And yeah. so if you had a blush palette or a highlight palette from NARS, you can literally, I'm not saying do this, but I you do can keep this. It for you can keep it for a decade and it will still work. <laughs> yeah. Whereas you will need to use this in a couple of years yeah, or, yeah. or you've or wasted a year. it. Yeah. 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 So that's my only sort of issue with it. It's a bit icky yeah. and it's a bit... Ugh. I don't think it's a smart idea putting mm. creams in palettes with powder things i just no. i i've never thought it was a good idea and i never will think it's a good idea and do you know what disappoints me and as i well? love nas but i won't support it yeah one thing that disappoints me as well is this is a beautiful color story and Gorgeous. their powder eyes like their powder the new powder highlighters that they launched um in They're 2018 phenomenal gorgeous yeah. so i don't know why and they their have eyeshadow it. game has stepped yes. up next level they, they make gorgeous eyeshadows yeah and yeah I'm not, I'm not sure why they thought that would be a good idea i just think it's a bit silly um if they really wanted to release like a cream to powder in a pan type formula make it its own palette i agree don't put it in with powders you're mm-hmm. going to be dipping your brush into those powders it's going to be flicking off product into those creams yuck i agree and what annoys me the most about it the nas team aren't dumb they know no, they know what they're doing they know they should put a flap over at least yeah. like um do something natasha denona puts a flap it's, over yeah the anyway next we have some new shades of the afterglow lip balms so there's six new shades yeah nude red dark brown peach mauve and pinky nude They've added one called Deep Throat. Which of course is they have. Same as the last show. Yeah. Very good. Well done, you. Yeah, you can't get over that shit, can you, Nars? Um, then we have some new blush shades. So there's going to be 10 new blushes. Yeah, some of these are re-promoted from past releases. Um, but I think this is a really great move because, like you said, I think they've upped their game. Their highlighters are better since they relaunched them. Their eyeshadows are better since they relaunched them. Um, and their blushes used to be their most popular products, but I think they're sort of stuck 10 years ago. The shades yes. and the formulas are a little bit archaic, in my opinion. And even though they were, they were really good at the time, if you compare them to blushes, and stuff that have come out these days, they just don't cut it. I agree. So they really needed to add in more shades and sort of tweak formulas, which I don't know if they've tweaked the formula, but 
you look at their range and it's like shimmery pink, shimmery pink, shimmery, shimmery pink, pink, shimmery pink, pink with like, glitter, pink with a little bit less glitter. So good god. Um, so it's really nice to see that they're adding in some warmer tones and some more nudie tones yeah. and some purpley tones that are a little bit more um, fresh, in mm. my opinion. Um, so I think this is a modern. good move. I'm still bummed about that blush and highlighter palette because this is one that I would actually buy if it wasn't creams. I agree. So yeah. I'm a bit yeah. disappointed at that. All right, from NYX Cosmetics, we have the new High Glass Collection. So <laughs> what are they calling this? Meet our first three-step pro-grade glass skin collection inspired by K-Beauty. Prime, set, and illuminate for lit up skin that looks like glass. Okay, so well, the glass skin is a huge trend. So it's, it's smart that they are doing this because it's massive buzzwords. Yes, I don't know if these products are going to do it though. I know that's what I was concerned about. So there's a high glass finishing powder comes in three shades, twelve US dollars. Uh, high glass illuminating powder also three shades, also twelve dollars. We have the face primer in three shades. A finishing powder brush, which is 16 US dollars, an illuminating powder brush for 15, and a face primer brush for 18. Is that expensive for NYX? I would say it is. And once again, like I think the they're... brushes specifically. Yeah, well, hopefully they're nice. Like, I mean, the one down the bottom looks like a nice what brush. What the fuck is with that one with the I lumpy don't know. bits? It's got tumors on it. <laughs> it um, does. But for me, this looks like a range of highlighters and um, illuminating face primer, and yeah. they're trying to like, jump on the trend of uh, glass, glass skin, skin, which hopefully it's a it's a good product and it mm. works well. But um, there we go. It's available um, exclusively at Ulta at the moment. So there mm. you go. All right, Pantone has announced the colour of the year for 2020, um, and it is actually classic blue. Yeah. Look, I'm not mad about it. It is one of my favourite colours in general, but it probably will mean that we're going to see a lot of pops of blue in palettes, which we just declared should you know be what? left behind in it's, 2019. It's fine. Bring it on. I won't buy them. And yeah. I will just sass you all fucking here. Yeah. Appropriate. But to be fair, like what was it, Living Coral this year? We, we saw it nowhere. We didn't see nowhere. much. So there was a couple of things that brought, that was like, Living Coral, bring yeah. it Didn't mean that Coral was going to take over the makeup industry. No, and I don't didn't. think Classic Blue is going to take over the makeup industry either. So we have to remember yeah. that. Pantone colour of the year is not just about the makeup industry, yeah. it's about design like, yeah, in I general. I feel like the, the place where we see it most is in uh, like interior design. Yes. Um, and possibly some fashion, but yeah, I definitely yeah, think yeah. interior design, um, you know, yeah, that, you know, throws and cushions and yeah. stuff sort of take the inspiration yeah. and go with it, which is fine. And I feel like we usually only hear about it in the beauty industry very early in the year after it's been announced at the end of the like previous year. So yeah. I reckon we'll start seeing stuff Some like Pantone this collections February, coming in. March ish. Or I reckon a bit earlier because like we're already seeing one from Orly. So oh, yes, they that's have right. um the a new nail polish which is named Classic Blue. Um, and it is an exact match for the Pantone color, which I think is a smart move. But, um, yeah, so that's the first one that we've seen. Uh, generally what happens is I think Pantone, because it's actually, you have to pay for the rights to use the Pantone name. Right. Um, so they actually do tee up quite a few makeup collaborations right when they announce it. So at the end of the year, early the next year, we'll start, I remember Sephora used to make some Pantone palettes. Yeah. Um, so a few brands will latch onto it um, because they're probably made a contract to do yeah. so, um, but it will fade pretty quickly throughout yeah, 2020. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. I really like this nail polish color. It's definitely my nail polish color. All right, we've seen a few things from Physicians Formula. So the first things we've seen is an addition to the Rosé All Day range. Um, so they did bring out highlighters, I think earlier this year, they've got skincare that's like rose sort of infused. Um, and now they're just adding to the makeup part of that range. So we've got the Rose All Play eyeshadow bouquet. Uh, yeah. They rose went there. All Play uh, wait, bouquet. Ro rose All Day Play, play bouquet. bouquet. It's yeah. a 
White lady rap. <laughs> Jesus white Christ. Lady. And it will match That's embarrassing. Because uh, this is a very much a white lady. White lady poet. Yeah. Um, so this is 1799 US dollars. It's available now on the all available now on Physicians Formula website. So the main thing about these is that they are enriched with rose extract to help soothe and calm. And they're formulated with antioxidant-rich goji and brightening kakadu plum. Mm. So they've actually tried to infuse some skincare benefits into eyeshadows. I believe when we did our predictions for 2019, we said skincare infused makeup was one of the predictions. We're actually going to revisit that probably um, January and put it up maybe early Feb, like what came true and what didn't um but that was that's interesting so all these products are infused with rose and like um goji and kakadu plum so i'm not going to repeat myself all of these are but pretty much the eyeshadow palette it's a 12 pan eyeshadow palette a lot of mauves uh, a couple of nudie shades it looks like it has that um meat patty speckled formula that um, is in the Huda Huda, palette. Um, But essentially it's just like very romantic pinky tone, mauvey tones, mattes and um, these shimmers. Makes me hungry for a burger. That's fair. That's all right. (laughs) Um, But yeah, it's available now. Some people love the look of it. Some people think it's boring as heck and, you know, I see both sides. It's all valid. Yeah. And then we've also got the Rosé All Day Set and Glow. These are weird. So these are US 50, 50, 15.99. Don't pay $50 for this, guys. Nope. Comes in three shades, Luminous Light, Brightening Rose, and Sunlit Glow. So these are illuminating powders um, that's supposed to capture, diffuse, and soften surrounding light. Sure, sure. Um, But it also comes with a balm to add soft all over glow to any complexion. So essentially what it is, it's a (laughs) highlighter, like a pan, but it's got like a flap over the top that has a bit of a balm to it. At least they're properly separated. They're separated. So got to keep them separated, guys. Got to keep them separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) Go out and play. No, come out and play. We're very old. Sorry. It is what it is. Um, So, yeah, so it's a highlighter with a nice rose design. There's a traditional sort of champagne colour. There's um, a more uh, rosy colour and a more warm tone colour. But it's got this weird balm flap over it that you can use to add some balm to increase the glow. I don't know. That's a bit weird. I'm I'm not for that. But it's it's different. Um, They've also got the Rosé All Day Mascara, $11.49 US dollars. And once again, it's just a mascara um, that has those skincare ingredients in it. So there we go. Really, really quickly, we have seen a sneak peek of a new item coming from Physicians Formula. They say it's the skin's best defense coming soon. Now, this was actually shown sometime last week. We haven't seen an update. It looks like um, Fourth Ray Beauty. They're like, Mm. what was their collection? Waterfall something, something. I reckon it's a hyaluronic acid. Yeah. I think that's Just putting out there. probably about right. Mm-hmm. They've made it look like it's in clouds and... Yep. Uh, yep. Watery. Watery. Okay, from Rani Cosmetics, we've got a new palette. This is available now and it is 48 US dollars. Uh, it's called the Molten Tides Palette. I could not read that. I'm like... The Matter t- Ticks? Malta. Like- I thought it said Malta. Yeah, I'm like... Malta... I could read the tides. I thought it was like T I C K E S. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> she okay. missed it. I um, totally, yep. Anyway, 12 pan palette. It contains four or five mattes in there, uh, and then some satins, and then some metallics. Um, maybe no. six mattes. Maybe it is an even split. It's not, yeah, it does look like an even split to me. It looks like there's. <laughs> This is another thing that I find funny. So when they put most of the mattes as nudes and then yeah. most of the colours as shimmers, so you are stuck with colourful yeah. shimmer and matte crease. Brown colour, brown colour. Yeah, doesn't I, matter what you do. I find that, once again, yeah. quite limiting, but I do. it does look like it's a 50-50 split and the most colourful mattes are the mauve and the sort of berry tone yes, down the bottom. Yeah. Um, but there you go. So it's like nude, pop of blue. Mm. Without the pop of blue, that would have been a lot nicer. Just I agree. It but it is I giving agree. you that sort of muted beachy vibe. Yes. And the swatches look nice. They do, yeah. 
From Shroud Cosmetics, we have a Moonfall Trio. So this is a mini collection of three new eyeshadow singles. Um, it's inspired by the magic brought forth by the early nightfall on a winter's evening. So the three shades are Night Song, which is a steely peacock blue with a metallic finish. Soulstone is a slightly muted magenta, again, metallic finish. And Artifact is a chartreuse olive green with a metallic finish. These are all available now and they retail for 15 US dollars for the bundle or six dollars each. They're pretty. They are. Yeah, these are the kind, of, if you do want to invest in single eyeshadows, I say these are the ones you sort of go for because um, they're the sort of statement thing mm. that, that, like, I find, okay, you can definitely go buy a palette of nude, transition, matte, whatever, single eyeshadows, but the ones that I find I reach for are the, like, special ones. Yes. So you can go for your basic palettes that you use every day, and then you can inject a special colour, and these are quite Look, special. if I hadn't spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on my eyeshadow collection, at this point, I would just chuck it all out and start over with a brown palette and buy the single colours like the multi or the them. glitters or the, yeah. yeah as you as yeah. you want them yeah i think that's that yeah. makes sense all right smashbox have launched their mindful five collection so this is five wellness benefits with five key ingredients that work together to promote your best skin so what they've pretty much done is they've released three items and each of them have five key ingredients that help with wellness and whatever so the first one is the nourishing face primer serum this is 42 us dollars and the ingredients that they've added to this one there's cannabis sativa hemp seed oil Primer oil complex, whatever that happens yeah. to be, red algae, green tea, and prebiotics. So that is a new primer product. There's also nourishing lip oil, 18 US dollars. And this contains cannabis sativa, hemp seed oil, chamomile, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, and apricot oil. So that's mainly oils. They've got the custom glow lip balm, 18 US dollars as well. Um, and this is a color the, changing yep, lip balm. But the ingredients are exactly the same as the lip oil. Okay. So they've got the same sort of ingredients, but once again, it's a pH reactive one that adjusts to your custom shade Don't of pink. make them a 2020 thing. Why can't they just be a nice lip balm? I know. Make it a beautiful nude color. Or just clear. Yeah. And just uh, am amplify the natural look. Because they always say, oh, it customizes to It does give, not. It doesn't. It's it just, just gives a you a pink stain. Garish bright pink. And some people that suits, but most people most it actually people doesn't. Most people it doesn't. Yeah. I put one, one of the Clarins lip oils in my project pan mm -hmm. and it's one of those shade adjusting ones and look it it's pretty and i'm okay with it but good god i don't want that fucking shit on my face every damn day but it also limits how you can use it because i love using lip oils and stuff at night but yeah. i don't want to roll over and then have my have white pillows smeared on, yeah. with stained pink that's right that's so right. i don't know it's not my not my favorite move no from Tarte, we have something that's being added to their Shape Tape range. This is the Shape Tape Glow Wand. It's a liquid highlighter. So it's formulated with microfine pearl pigments. It has a double-ended applicator, which consists of a wand to get the product out of the tube, and then a sponge at the other end. You can remove the sponge to wash it. Very Gosh. good. Yeah, approve. I approve. Um, and basically they say it gives you multiple ways to glow over concealer at the high points of your face, mix it with foundation or moisturizer, put it on your body, whatever you want. It's available now. It comes in eight shades. It's 25 US dollars. Um, and sorry, it's available at QVC now yeah. and the, uh, full launch is happening in January. Yeah. So they'll be coming to Tarte and Ulta in January. We've also seen uh, Too Faced um, add to a very popular range. So they're adding more skincare to the hangover range. Um, so this is created to energize your skin with ingredients from nature and supercharged by science. Sure, sure, Too Faced. Yes. Uh, we've got the Hangover Wash the Day Away Gentle Foaming Cleanser, the Hangover Pillow Balm and the Hangover Pillow Cream coming soon to uh, Too Faced. So um, their hangover range, it started with their primers, hydrating primers, and then moved into moisturizers mm. earlier this year. So they're just adding to that. Um, I don't know what the pillow balm is. It's a lip treatment. Okay, yeah. like an overnight lip yeah, treatment. Yeah, I think so. 
uh, then you know, and the pillow cream is an ultra nourishing night, night cream. cream yeah so there's just yeah i think padding out that range a yep. little bit is this okay. the last thing i think this is the last thing and it's wayne goss all right so we've seen the holiday brush uh, for 2019 from Wayne Goss. All right, so we don't know exactly what this brush is going to be called and it's not currently available, but you can sign up for early access. It will be available at Beautylish and it is coming soon. Yeah, it's, it's a, a pretty much a massive fan brush. Huge fan brush, yes. Very thick, very... Um, yeah, it looks like it'd be good for, uh, like, fan brushes, typically those really thin ones, um, those really sparse ones, yeah. you can only use for a certain limited sort of application. This, this looks, you could do... I feel like you could bronze, yeah. contour, highlight. Set your makeup a, with powder. Yeah, I actually don't mind this. And I, look, I think I quite like Wayne Goss's brushes. Like, I know they oh, yeah. um, they come from Hakuhodu, or they used to, I assume yeah. they still do. Like, they... Uh, not private labelled, but they, like, manufacture for him. That, um, that was the sort of um, – I don't know if that's factual or if that was just a rumour Maybe when it started. They, I but know, like, the brushes that I have from him are more of his early brushes and they feel very Hakuhodo-esque. And Hakuhodo, they do create brushes for people. Yes, so they, they do. do provide yep. that yep. service. Yep. So it does make sense if that is yep. the case. But I just wanted to clarify that – I don't think that's an actual, like, set in stone fact. No, no. It's, I suppose, rumour, maybe. Or, yes. Yeah. Um, anyway, from what I know of his brushes, they are very clever brushes, and I like what I own from him. There you go. And I kind of want this to just dust it over my forehead. Yeah, it looks like it'd be nice and soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, editing cat here, and uh, poor past Haley and Cat, uh, look... They never learn that you can't finish an episode without talking about ColourPop. So uh, as I was editing, a new collection has popped up and it's launching the 12th of December at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So um, around the time that this episode kind of goes up, maybe kind of. So we'll talk a little bit more about the collection maybe next week, but essentially it's another round of a collaboration with Becky G. Um, And this time it's called the Ola Chola Collection. It contains a 12 pan all matte eyeshadow palette, which is very unusual for ColourPop. Um, There's also a cherry roller gloss in Very Cherry. So this reminds me back from being a kid get those lip glosses in the roller tube um, that's like cherry scented. There's bronzers, there's ultra matte lips with matching lip pencils, and there's also a liquid liner in black. So um, like I said, we might talk about this more next week, but it's out. So if you want to check it out, go for it. The time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP and this week's B... B... B B-I-G... VIP is Denise. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Denise, for supporting Beauty News. And thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. Mm -hmm. What is our emoji, Kat? So, because Pantone Colour of the Year 2020, um, we... (laughs) (laughs) 2020. uh, We've decided that uh, your favourite blue emoji... Yeah. You just leave it. Go ham. Go ham. There's a lot. And they look really cool when you put them all together. That's true. One's a bowl. One's a yeah. frisbee. Yeah. Yeah. Some I've never it's used. It's fish, a jigsaw puzzle piece. Jeans. Jeans. It's cap. Cool blue cap. And there's diamonds. Apparently they're blue too. <laughs> We've got to leave We've because leave, this is so this is old. I don't even know what this is. But <laughs> it, I hope it's not an offensive term. I really, it means I'm really, really apologise. I'm really scared. It's definitely now. not one of these ones. No, no, no. We know that. We know that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I don't think a lot of people know that's an Australian <laughs> thing. So. It is. And UK as well. Yeah, they'll yeah. get it. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. <laughs> We're going to go. Mm-hmm. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, I was like, no. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.